Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. I'm going to say this very clearly before we get started. I am not the person who discovered this information. I am not the person breaking this story, and I am not the person who deserves the credit for this information being uncovered. All of the credit towards rightfully bringing this information to the public eye belongs to a YouTuber named Dandruff for locating the information as well as I am Patty Jack for first reporting on it. This was due to Dandruff seeding first go for I am Patty Jack out of his already being forced to deal with false allegations from the moderator in question. Full disclosure, I am Patty Jack is a friend, a fellow YouTuber, and co-host of the hopefully soon-to-return Procedurally Opinionated podcast. Please do go check out both of their channels. They both do a fantastic job and deserve far more credit than they receive. Links to their channels are in the description below. Also, this video will not be monetized, and given the subject matter, I'm sure you'll understand why. Sometimes the moral obligations of having a public platform such as this demands our raising awareness about a situation that requires the attention of all parties involved. One final addendum, the following statements should in no way reflect poorly upon Valve, WB, or any other company. This is the sort of thing in which they could not possibly have had or gained any prior knowledge of, and they should not be held accountable for the statements or actions of a single person who does not represent their respective companies. Now, recently, the game Middle Earth Shadow of War has been seeing a lot of negative press surrounding their implementation of microtransactions that will directly influence both the single player and multiplayer components of the game. As a result of this, irate fans have taken to the forums in order to express their frustration and anger over Warner Brothers' decisions in this regard. Shortly thereafter, reports began flooding in of massive discussion thread deletions and forum bans in response to the onslaught of negativity. One of the game's forum moderators, Laptop65, seemed to be by far and away the most prevalent moderator dealing with this situation, and his heavy-handed style seemed to be exceptionally aggressive. His own attitude in regards to this situation was of little help to calm the billowing fire that the Steam forums had become, and his comments in many instances could be described as antagonistic at best. I am Patty Jack posted his own video in regards to this situation and also had included a screenshot involving Laptop 65's affiliation with a site called Scythe.org, a site that exists to sell in-game items for a variety of games and also to sell Xbox and Steam accounts. Later, Sir Violent Death, a member of the Steam group Sentinels of the Store, had sought out Laptop 65 in order to try and understand a little better Laptop 65's position and why he moderated the Steam forums in the way that he does. This devolved into an argument, mostly due to Laptop 65's antagonistic behavior, and as a result of that disagreement, I am Patty Jack decided to add Laptop 65 on Steam in order to get some additional info from him in regards to the situation and to hopefully reason with Laptop 65. Now, during the course of the conversation, Laptop 65 was again directly antagonistic, even bashing on little old me as he seems to think extremely poorly of the videos I've posted in regards to the Shadow of War situation and seems to feel like I should have sought out his viewpoint before posting my videos. He then took exception to I am Patty Jack's usage of the Scythe website screenshot as Laptop 65 seemed to believe that it was quote, personal information. He wanted those pieces of information removed or edited out of the video. I am Patty Jack rightfully declined as the information was publicly available and did not include Laptop 65's real name, email address, physical location, phone number, or any other form of information that would be able to be used to identify Laptop 65 out in the real world. And when those initial requests failed, Laptop 65 even resorted to full-on bribery in order to have the information removed, and given that we now know the circumstances behind that, I can certainly understand why. I am Patty Jack understandably refused the bribery attempts, and shortly after he had found that Laptop 65 had filed a privacy violation against I am Patty Jack's video, which is currently being reviewed by YouTube. Now, I am Patty Jack did reach out to both Warner Brothers and Valve, as was his responsibility to do so when faced with multiple bribery attempts as well as everything else, and to date they have yet to respond. I am Patty Jack also contacted Leonard French about this situation, and Leonard agreed that it does not seem that any information within the video contained anything that could be deemed a privacy violation. As he waited for the privacy violation review on the video to be processed, I am Patty Jack was approached by Dandruff, a fellow YouTuber who had decided to do a little more digging into Laptop 65's past on this site that he was so unbelievably defensive over. And it would seem that any number of threads over the past two months on a site that Laptop 65 is still very much active on, posting multiple comments per week on the site, 
has been actively and openly defending pedophilia and openly defending committing sexual acts with underage children, as is evidenced on your screen now. Also, please note that Laptop65 is not admitting to having had performed any such acts, but regardless of this, the comments are extremely concerning for a variety of reasons. The first is the most obvious reason. This sort of thing is not acceptable under any circumstances and is completely and utterly disgusting by every possible definition of the word. Secondly, Laptop 65 is in a position of authority within a public realm as the Shadow of War forums are not the only forums in which he moderates. Couple that with the fact that this person is also in a position of authority on a platform where a great many children frequent, and these comments take on a whole new, very serious and possibly dangerous tone. And what if this is how Laptop 65 really feels? What then if he happens to come across a child on these forums that happens to live within his general vicinity? What then? As a father, even the mere implication of such a thing enrages me and actually fills me with a twinge of fear. Now, this sort of thing is not amusing. It's not a joke, and it is something that should not be taken lightly. As I said, this is to help make sure the information gets out there, so please do your part and go watch I Am Patty Jackson dangerous videos on this situation, and don't forget to consider subscribing to them. They do a good job, and they've more than earned it, especially in this particular instance. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.